सो हेलो एवरीबाडी नाउ टूडेज टॉपिक इज केतु इन द एट हाउस येस यू कैन सी मी दर एक्चुअली आई एम इन डीप फॉरेस्ट एरिया राइट नाउ दिस इज एग्जैक्टली वट आई यूज टू टेल यू दैट केतु टेक्स यू टू द मोस्ट आइसोलेटेड प्लेसेज हियर यू विल फाइन नो ह्यूमन्स राइट नाउ इट्स यू कैन सी इट्स एब्सोल्यूटली सो मच ग्रीन एंड सो मेनी फ्लावर्स एंड अ स्टीप वे आउट ऑफ द सिटी लाइफ कम्प्लीटली सो दिस इज एग्जैक्टली वेर के टू टेक टेक्स यू इफ स्पेशली इट्स इन द एट हाउस ऑफ द ओकल्ट इन योर हॉरोस्कोप सो नाउ पीपल हैव बीन आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन अ लॉर्ड अबाउट के टू इन द एट हाउस दैट यू नो वी आर सो मच डिस्टर्ब वेन वी हैव के टू इन द एट हाउस वेन वी गेट मैरिड वी आर स्टिल नॉट सेटिस्फाइड विद आर मैरिज लाइफ मैरिड लाइफ देर इज समथिंग विच इज इनकम्प्लीट इन आर लाइफ वॉट इज द सोल्यूशन वाई दिस इज हैपनिंग विद अस so this is actually the reason that basically you've been sent on this planet for research work for isolations for actually being aloof from the crowd but since you are unable to understand that what exactly ketu is all about you're living a city life and for the overseas clients of mine uh you know you are in a much more modern society you know in a much more modern and commercial place so you people get more confused so understand one thing about ketu in the 8th house whether you're married whether you're not married till the time you do not pick anything out of spirituality or anything to do with mysterious sciences or astrology you will never be satisfied with no matter how much money you have maybe you have the best partner in your life you know your husband your wife any gender so ketu in the 8th house will make you a loner also so at one point of time when you're in your 30s especially because see every planet now this is a shadow planet ketu and rahu like we say and very important energies that i've been explaining you ketu when you're in your 30s every planet matures up with your age first it's like something like a baby is born so you know there's so much of understanding so much of responsibility so much of the other things daily routine things are nothing to do with the child when the child is born but slowly and steadily when you start growing up you start understanding you start referring to things that okay this is what happens in the world similarly in the in the life and in the zone of planets in astrology we say that every planet grows with your age so the maximum when you reach your 30s or late 30s ketu makes you a loner even if you're married or even if you're in the most glamorous field of maybe something to do with media or something to do with films theater you will start asking yourself that why am i so dissatisfied no matter how much you know the best of work the best of salary you have so this is exactly today i've come here and this is a perfect location for making you people understand that where you actually belong but you it's just that you're not understanding this this is not coming in you you have to come this is my one advice to people in uh, ketu in the 8th house get out of the city life for a while maybe you go for a vacation don't go for a vacation to the, to the sea beaches to the places where so much of you know modernism is there you have to come down to some place like this where there is no noise there is no human activity at this point of time you can't see any human the only things what you can see is look around i mean the, the camera is trying to capture all the beauty of this place this is actually a dense forest where you actually have to walk by you know higher there is no car or anything which goes no vehicle goes here you will hear the birds chirping here you will feel that you know you get so much of silence now here you will get the signals and the ideas as to what you need to actually do with yourself and definitely here you will get a very strong signal that i have to start my meditation i have to start something in occult maybe i have to write a book after researching about one particular mysterious topic see ketu in the 8th house is all the hidden elements please understand it's nothing to do with what is happening in astrology in the modern times you you can't go to an astrology astrological institute at this point of time when you have ketu in the 8th house 8th house and feel satisfied no the point i'm trying to make is you have to look within you have to search within and that ketu uh, the teacher of occult the king of occult which i call it 
will actually guide you that what you need to specialize in in this particular occult because see tantra occult mysterious sciences they are vast fields every single person's vibration is a different vibration ketu will not teach you if, for example there are six people of ketu in the eighth house ketu will not energy of ketu will not come at the same level to all those six people the energy of ketu will tell each six people different things that what you need to do and how you need to do the journey of reaching that mysterious sciences will also be different so the idea is you need to sit in silence you need to be alone for you people to be alone is is actually a blessing now there have been lot of not many people who have been saying you know that we have recently had breakups in the relationships recently had divorces in the relationships so they say my partner is you know immediately after the divorce happened or immediately after the relationship uh, was broken you know the person went on with the other partner without any take, taking some time out out of the relationship now you going going into those headaches those depression levels that you know i wanted to do this but i could not do this somehow i tried but then i stepped out of it immediately why i could not do this why i could not search for another partner so now i always tell you the answer is within you are ketu based in the 8th house you will not once you have experienced the marital bliss you have experienced a relationship sector you would not want to enter something so easily in your life in fact i have seen if you are actually if you have scorpio and ketu together for that matter this you will be out of the relationship and that will be the turning point of your life to actually enter these occult sciences or these fields okay so this is actually great and uh, in fact uh, after the breakups or after getting are uh, getting out of any relationships this is something which you can actually start working on because now you have am ample time which is alone you can actually write a book you can do some research work which needs a lot of lot of time and lot of mind alone okay so the silence will be your best friend ketu in the 8th house so don't let people say that you know you all, all of a sudden you have changed you don't socialize with us you are not meant for it and something that you're not meant for there is no need to go into those areas forcefully okay so that's about it ketu in the 8th house you guys are made and sent to this earth for occult sciences and for research work if you have to sum it up actually in one liner okay enjoy these places enjoy come here to these places and you will find amazing energy levels and amazing qualities within yourself and you will be shocked and surprised that where i was actually roaming all these years and why i could not figure out all these things you know so sooner the later this never too late wake up try to utilize your energies where you actually need them okay so that's about it i'll see you next week with another topic till then goodbye